Hi there, my name is Whitney Lee Morris. I am a small space blogger and author and consultant. And I live in a tiny cottage in Venice Beach, California. It's under 400 square feet. And I'm here with my husband and business partner, our three and a half year old son and our two rescue beagles. And this is also our full-time office for our small business. We've lived in our tiny house for over nine years and I've worked from home the entire time. And with millions of people around the globe staying home in an effort to keep their communities and their families safer, it can of course be a challenge to work from home suddenly, to be homeschooling one or multiple children, to keep our bodies and our minds as healthy as possible. And it can be a bit harder to do it in a small space. So I want to show you the things that we do here to maximize space and enhance our comfort. Uh, and that allows us to really embrace our, our space and find it to be a sanctuary rather than an obstacle or a challenge in what is already a challenging time. You know, start in the garden. If you are lucky enough to have a little bit of outdoor space, uh, don't be limited by just the square footage. By creating vertical gardens, you can enhance your space and even grow something green and good for your family. If, like us, you lack a proper entryway, don't despair. There are things that you can do by simply installing, for example, hooks to corral keys, hooks to corral bags and mail, and in this case, COVID masks you can enhance your entryway space. Rolling, collapsible, folding furnishings and accessories, all these things can help a room multitask. For example, this is our son's collapsible uh, chalkboard and desk and chair. This is our rolling coffee table. Um, we can make this room into our son's bedroom by adding a bumper and his sheets at night. We can use a pop-up table to make it our dining room. This is a play space. This is where we do our family yoga. And of course, since I'm here all day long uh, working on my business, this is also my office. There's so many ways to enhance a tiny kitchen. For example, getting appliances and accessories that keep the line of sight open. Uh, getting mats and racks that roll up or over the burner cutting boards so that you can maximize counter space. Hanging items from underneath cabinets and on the fridge. Whether you can tell or not, so much of this kitchen is designed to save space. Even the little things like these wire mesh baskets, which allow light and air to continue to travel unobstructed through our small space and yet corral the things that need corralling by using saucepans and bowls as storage for fruit and whatnot when they're not in use for cooking or dining is a great way to double up space. Even a pan that has a steamer built in and a spatula built in can save space. By having a small appliance like this that allows us to carbonate our water, we don't need bottles and bottles of bubbly water that we need to store. Instead, we just have this and one or two bottles, and it also reduces our household waste. Concealed storage can help in a small bathroom, and again, by having reusable goods and refillable goods as opposed to disposables, you will save space. If you feel like you don't have room for decor or plants because they clutter up your counters, go vertical. You can suspend your plants, you can suspend the everyday items that you use, your hats, your scarves, your bags. My camera is up on the wall because you can turn your everyday items into functional decor. And when you do so, go vertical. It's gonna save you so much space. Never underestimate the power of baskets. They are so simple yet so helpful in a small space. Here is a rolling cart filled with library books for our son. His plushies are suspended here and here are some more of our hats. Uh, baskets like this that can be suspended or rolled are a great way to enhance the character of your house as well as the function. This tiny little stoop has proven itself to be so useful as an office. With the help of this collapsible standing table, I can work in this indoor-outdoor environment and by pulling this curtain closed, I can even enhance my privacy. Even a tiny thoroughfare can be turned into a beautiful garden. Here we created a canopy of vines so we could protect ourselves from the sun and enhance our privacy. We also created a custom couch with mirrors to enhance light and depth. We have a little outdoor shower and there are trays underneath the shower so we can collect the water and then use the water to water our plants. We don't have room for a permanent dining room inside, but we have a little one outside. We just slide it over and it's a place for our son to play basketball and also a place for us to store our gardening accessories. People often ask about privacy and how we manage it in a small home. My son and husband <laughs> have been here the whole time. It's doable and it's delightful. 
Thank you so much for following along. I have more than 200 tips for living beautifully and comfortably in small spaces in my book, Small Space Style, because you don't need to live large to live beautifully. And I also provide countless tips on my blog, tinycanalcottage.com, and on my Instagram stories, IGTV, wall posts, uh, and Pinterest at Whitney Lee Morris. Thank you.